I was using a uh, orange marker earlier and I've like got it on my hands. Oh my god, in the camera it looks like Cheeto dust or something, but it's like orange marker. Hey guys, it's Kid Steph and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a book to oh my god, I said about to say booktubeathon it is the reading rush today we're doing a reading rush tbr i'm like really shook because i just found out today that this is my fifth year doing the reading rush slash booktubeathon uh that's crazy that's um half a decade that was um me in middle school you know i'm not a booktube channel so i feel like i need to explain myself just a little bit the reading rush is basically a reading marathon that the book community on youtube instagram twitter like all social medias we all come together and we kind of like read do a reading marathon for a week it's a fun event i'll link down in the description the link to the reading rush channel just so you could get like what it is and what's going on but like i said i'm not a booktube channel so every year i kind of explain what it is i just like making the videos because it's fun especially the TBR video because every year there's challenges that they make up. There's seven challenges plus a bonus eighth challenge. It's just like challenges to kind of form what you're going to read around. I think they're super fun. So that's what we're going to do today. The past two years I've had terrible reading rush experiences. Two years ago I read one book and it was for school so I felt like I had to read it. That's how I ended up reading it. And then last year I didn't even read a book. I did start reading a book but I accidentally did not choose a very good book for this. When it comes to readathons like this I feel like short books and very like fast paced books are necessary like it could be a big book but it's got to like keep your mind like intrigued you know I've learned like I need to think better about it if I want to actually complete the challenges and actually you know be proud of what I did during this readathon because reading one book it's something but last year reading no books I was like are you kidding me I don't know I'm so embarrassed especially because <laughs> I always do a reading to be read and then afterwards I do like a wrap up and every year it's so stupid because I don't read anything. Off of that spiel, this year I decided we're choosing books I want to read, short books, books that I actually think that I might read. I choose seven books every year but realistically I won't complete all the challenges with seven books. All the challenges kind of morph together with different books if that makes sense. But I still like to choose seven and that's why there's like two that I probably know that I won't read but I just want to like put it with a challenge just cause. I've been talking for five minutes and literally not even picked up a book which is what this video is about. So we're gonna do that. The first challenge is always the color challenge and it's like read a book that's yellow or that, that was last year. But this year they went creative and they were like read a book with the cover as the color of your birthstone. Now I'm born in June. I'm Pearl. I actually looked it up and there's like three options for June and I'm like why are there three options for a birthstone? The one I typically think of is pearl, and then I also found that there's a moonstone one, and both of them are white. Yeah, pearl, I associate with white. It could be kind of gray, I don't know. But the book I chose for this was Say I Love You, Volume 1, Manga. And I've actually never done a manga in a TBR, but I decided we're gonna go easier this year, you know? So that's why I chose it. Plus, it's white, and I've been meaning to reread the series because I actually own the entire series. There's 18 volumes, and I own all of them except for one, which is the 18th one. I'm like basically there, so I'm gonna reread this. Oh, I thought there was like a scratch on this cover, but that's just a part of it. So I was a little confused. The next challenge is starting with the word the. So I have to read a book that starts with the word the. Some people thought it was kind of hard. I thought this was easy. I chose the love interest because it obviously starts with the. From what I remember, it's about two guys that are trying to win over this girl 
and it's I think it's like life or death for them like they have to it's like their job to but the two guys that are trying to win her over they fall in love with each other it just sounds so interesting to me and I also Pride Month just happened and I didn't read any books and I felt like I should have read this book during Pride Month so that's why I'm gonna read it now a little late but better late than never this challenge was a movie that you've seen but you haven't read before so I chose Narnia the Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe I've read the first book in this series this is actually the second book if you did not know and I've never read it but it is a children's book and it is pretty short and so that's why I put it in here because I feel like it'll be a quick read next this challenge is interesting it's read the first book that you touch I guess people do this differently they'll take a stack of books and just touch it or I don't know what people do what I personally did is I actually have like this long list um, like written down of books I do want to read so I just like took the list and I just like did it that way instead of like touching a physical book I touched like a book on my TBR list uh, the book I touched was Shadow and Bone so I've actually read this book before but it was so long ago and I didn't read any of the other books in the series and I need to read this book again before I read the other books because to be honest I don't remember anything that happened next challenge is to read a book completely outside of your house I chose another like kind of picturey children's book it is the odd ones out the first sequel this is a youtuber and he's come out with this is his second book but I've read his first book should be a quick read Lastly, this is the book I know I'm not gonna read. I just know I won't get through it, especially in a week period. So this one is read a book that is set in a different country other than your own. I actually do not have that many books set somewhere else that I haven't read yet. So I decided to choose Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I've never read this. I have like this list of classics I want to read and this is one of them and I actually own this book which is cool. And this one is obviously set in England so that's why I chose it for this. Now I actually forgot this one challenge. I skipped it on accident because I don't have the physical book but the challenge is, I'll have to, I forget which number the challenge is, but the challenge is read a book from a genre that you're scared of or that you barely read from so one that i barely read from is nonfiction. i'm very much like fiction i don't read nonfiction. so i decided to i don't have the physical book and i don't know where to buy it so i decided to rent an ebook from the library and it's called what is it called so you've been publicly shamed uh, i'll put it right here so it's a nonfiction book about basically internet canceling talks about like i guess the history of it and just like why it happens and why so many people these days are getting canceled and like just like the culture of it and i think it's going to be really interesting so those are my seven books the bonus eighth challenge is to read all seven books we'll never do that like i said a lot of these challenges i can mix together we'll see how this goes you'll see it in the wrap-up i forgot to say it's from june 20th to the 26th if you want to join like i said i'll link down below the channel i hope you guys enjoyed this i love picking the books it's always my favorite part be sure to like this video and comment down below if you're participating all the links to all my other social media are in the description and the first link in the description is my merch so if you want a coot step shirt go down there and if you're not already a cootie be sure to subscribe to be a part of the coot clan and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.